Hey everybody, this is Dave from The Unbox Boys! What if I were to tell you that the voice of young Han Solo was not Harrison Ford? And furthermore, what if I told you that the voice of young Han Solo was not even a boy, but a girl? We're going to find out who that person is today on this special edition of The Unbox Boys as we have an exclusive interview with the voice of young Han Solo from the Lego Star Wars film The Padawan Menace. Not only will we do the interview, but you'll have a chance to win this very Blu-ray DVD combo that I hold in my hot little hands right here. We'll tell you how to do that after the video. So here is our exclusive interview with Katie Lee. Well, hello, Katie Lee. Hello, Dave D'Andrea. <laughs> Thanks for uh, taking some time with us here on the Unbox Boys. Uh, I'll let everybody know that you've been a... Uh... I thought it was the Unboxer Boys. No. Like... <laughs> <laughs> but oh well, here we are. <laughs> no, if somebody else, uh, we sponsored the local Upwards basketball here, and they were calling us the Unibox Boys. So apparently, it's a more complicated name than I. I thought. It's a little. <laughs> just you say the boys. Like, just, just yeah. the boys. You have uh, to really pay attention when you're reading, you know, and that's a skill that voiceover <laughs> actors should have. Yes. Well, it's the Unbox Boys because we have toys and we unbox them. And it's, you unbox uh, them. Yeah, Some people call that opening. Yeah. Whatever. The open boys? We could have been the open boys. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I think it's great. <laughs> okay. The, the, the Uniboxers. <laughs> <laughs> Getting in trouble here right from the get-go. Thank you. Um, all right. Well, all right. Let me tell everybody that uh, you've been uh, a friend uh, to me. Uh, you've been a director uh, for me. In fact, I'll put a link in uh, below here of uh, when you directed me for uh, something, which was a lot of fun. Uh, you and your husband, Vinny, uh, who is in a KISS cover band, by the way. What's the tribute. name? Tribute. Tribute band. KISS tribute band. Full makeup. And he plays which one? Paul Stanley, right? Paul Stanley. Okay. Star Child. And what's the name of the what's the name of the band again? Kissed Alive. Kissed Alive. Because you you you're not never truly alive until you've been kissed alive. Oh really? <laughs> Uh, you and your husband, uh, Vinny, served as uh, my tour guides on a recent trip to Southern California. Showed me around, showed me the uh, the Korean friendship bell, which I didn't even know was a thing. But that's a thing. And that was yep, very cool. in San Pedro. Yes. So that was very kind of you. Thank you for that. Uh, and because well, we're friends. Yes. It seemed yes. obvious. <laughs> Um, we met uh, through your work on uh, Focus on the Family. Uh, you're the voice of Connie Kendall. Uh, it's put out by Focus on the Family. And uh, mm -hmm. did I say Adventures in Odyssey? I said Focus on the Family. Adventures in Odyssey, put out by Focus on the Family. Right. Um, how long have you been doing that? How long have you been Connie Kendall? 30 years? No way. <laughs> yeah, no way. We're celebrating our 30th year this year. As a matter of fact... You should see me on the cover of Clubhouse Magazine in November. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Striking oh, a pose. You want to see something funny? Yes. I'll be right back. This is from the cover. This is a sneak preview. Okay. All right. Sneak preview of Katie Lee from Clubhouse Magazine uh, because of her work uh, with Adventures in Odyssey uh, and focus on the family on the show Adventures in Odyssey. Uh, something like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on the cover of the magazine. Oh, funny! <laughs> now, how old is how old is Connie supposed to be on the show? Yeah. How old is she supposed to be on the show? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not answering. That? <laughs> that is an unknown entity, even to myself. Really? Well, yes. if, well, I mean, I know the characters have aged her and Eugene and and Wit, of course, but it, they don't really seem to mention that a whole lot. She seems to be in her early twenties. Okay. And you and you, your voice has not aged at all, so you can you can just keep on doing that. Well, I have a little um, thing that I've implanted into my larynx so that I always sound the same, oh, no really? matter how old I get. <laughs> I just tweak it a little bit. I want yeah. one of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you do this, oh, and then all of a sudden you sound like this. <laughs> I might turn it a little bit more like this, and it <clears throat> gets back to my Connie voice. Yeah. Wow. Well, let's. Uh, what was your first voiceover job? What was the first thing that? Uh, I mean, did you always want to be a voiceover person, or did you start out wanting to be a doctor, or what's what's the story? No, I wanted to be an executive secretary. Oh, really? Because I heard you made a lot of money. Oh. 
That was back in the day when there were no computers. So if you knew right. shorthand, that was really good. Okay. Uh, yeah. And how'd you get into voiceover from that? I was a secretary to my <laughs> uncle briefly, who had um, made two pays, and <laughs> and um, a, a Los Angeles um, newscaster was a client, and he met me and said. Have you considered going into radio? Really? And so introduced me to the legendary Chuck Bloor, who, uh, if anybody knows radio history in Los Angeles. And uh, I met Chuck, and that sort of sparked a little interest. And um, I did something for him. He asked me to come in to do something. And then I, I wasn't sure. I went to college. I got a degree in no, well, anyway, my first union job was in San Francisco doing a voiceover for a film strip demo, like a pitch that an ad agency was making for Hawaiian Punch, and they needed a voiceover, and because it had to do with film, I was able to join the union. Hmm. Well, let's go back, because I do want, for our audience in particular, I do want to talk about your uh, connection with Star Wars and Legos, but... Uh, let's go back just a little bit farther because uh, your credits, uh, particularly on some shows uh, in the 80s, um, Muppet Babies. Uh, yeah, far out. I played Baby Rolf. <laughs> oh, you didn't even see me turn the dial, did you? I didn't you? know. I didn't. <laughs> you had a little clicker in your hand there. You were able to do it yeah. remotely. Uh, yeah. So, what are some of the other things from uh, from TV that folks may may know you as? Well, I was Sunny Gummy on the Gummy Bears. That's when I worked with June Pere and Bill Scott. Um, I was Richie Rich for a while for the okay. Deke incarnation of Richie Rich. Um, Alex on Totally Spies. I played Princess Arusia originally on the Teddy Ruxpin toy. Speaking of toys. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I was see if you can find one of those. Yeah. Dave. In a box. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Keep it, don't unbox it. They're probably worth quite a bit now. Let's tell yeah, you I think so. <laughs> um, other shows. You know, I'm gonna forget stuff. Um, um, um. I well, know you've got well, toys I there. Animalia, okay. Which was a PBS show, which was pretty awesome. Which. I will do oh, is how I got the Star, Star Wars, Wars gig, gig, so we so can put okay. a little seed there. Okay. Um, I played uh, three, three voices, voices on Animalia. I work on the Mr. Mr. Men show. Uh, uh, so the longest the running shows, shows Muppet Babies. Muppet Babies. Oh, Dumbo, oh, Dumbo Circus. Circus. Okay. Uh, I was the voice of Dumbo. Uh, that was old. Now currently, um, I'm gonna be working on Yokai Watch, which the next season you won't see it yet. We're always delayed, right, in animation. Right. Tom and Jerry. I've done some of the new Tom and Jerry's and uh, a Poppycat series, which is on Sprout. Um, you're even an additional uh, space voice racers. on Space Racers. Space Racers, racers. Okay. winning awards. And it was on it's PBS, and now it's on Sprout, and I keep forgetting. Okay. <laughs> I do that show. You do but so it's, much it's work. It's great. It's a great, <laughs> it's a great show. show. Yeah, I'm not a I'm regular, not a regular so, so, you know, I go, I go in. And, and, but I think I, I think play I three or four characters. So, and you've got some toys down there at your feet that you've been the voice of as well. Can we see a few of those? Sure. sure. Well, I mentioned the uh, Mr. Men show. Mm -hmm. So this is Little Miss Chatterbox. So mm -hmm. if you ever call me and I can't answer. Hello? Okay. <laughs> is that all? It just says hello? Oh, finally. I've got so much to say. <laughs> you, just, just, you just don't know when she's going to talk. That's the thing. So you think you've put it... <laughs> All right. <laughs> they, they made a little, um, um, small, small, you know those you toys know, that you throw and they, and they make they talk? talk? Have you ever seen those little, yeah. little like beanbag bean bag things? things. Right. They made a, a, one, one of those. those. And, my and my daughter, daughter was, in was in Germany, Germany with YWAM, with YWAM uh, uh, photography, photography, DTS, DTS whatever they call it. And I sent her one. So in the mail, I'm sure all the way across Europe, people were hearing this thing rattling and talking. And it finally got to her. and. 
you know, if you, you know, catch, it, catch it, talks, it talks, it says, it says you know, similar, similar stuff, stuff to this one. this one. And so and she so threw she it in the closet, closet, I guess, but she shared, she a, shared room a room with a bunch of people. people. So if they so happen to be rummaging, rummaging around, around and all of a sudden, sudden they'd hear and she said, she called me, Mom, you know, people are saying, Laura, your mother, your mother. Take her stop. That? Those are always the types of toys where if you've got a bunch of toys and you're putting them in a bin to save for later, those are always the ones that end up getting bumped up against something all the time. And talking constantly... in yes. forever. Yeah, I had, yeah, like, I had a like, a like a truck from my son, son that was like, where's, where's the, the truck? truck? Where's, where's the, the truck? truck? Where is that? Go find that thing and make it stop. Yeah. So this is a Red Rover toy. Fun. We did for Mattel. Actually, I did the commercial. And but he... Oh, oh. Yokai, Yokai Watch. watch. There's, okay. There's stuff, stuff in here. In here. Oh. oh. Here's, Here's little Miss Daredevil. Daredevil. She's oh. <laughs> Hold on Hold to on your patootie. Your <laughs> I didn't know they were in here. This is Red, Red Rover and friends. and friends. Yeah. So, there's another, another Little Miss little Chatterbox. Miss Chatterbox. Cute. And here's, and here's Little Miss Helpful, helpful. Mm. just trying to be trying helpful. helpful. Here's a tool, <laughs> tool belt. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, Darkwing, Darkwing Duck. Duck. I did Hulker Muddlefoot's, Muddlefoot's voice for Darkwing, Darkwing Duck. Duck. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Let's see what else I got. It's so fun for people to, you know, to have been wa- watching cartoons and then suddenly connect this you know, face of a person with oh they did that voice i didn't know yeah that's, <laughs> that's always, always fun, fun. Hmm. so here's, so here's red, red rover and he, he has a backpack, backpack with bones, bones in it in see it. i'm unboxing yeah. i'm unboxing <laughs> he said well, let me ask you this red, you do... rover, red rover red rover bring him a... oh and here's oh, one of my favorites can i show you one last one yes absolutely this is a kitty cat mm-hmm. toothbrush <laughs> the other one's, the other a, one's pig. a pig. So are those designed? I know they've they have a certain amount of time that they two want minutes. kids to brush their teeth, and so the, the whatever it is lasts for two minutes. Okay, I, gotcha. think, I think two minutes. Two minutes yeah, so yeah, so you brush, brush your, your teeth. teeth. Smart. The other one's a, well. Now I don't know what happened to the pig. We were playing with it last night. All right. So those are some of my toys. Well, let me ask you this: You go to a lot of different uh, comic cons, comic con like events. Uh, what is the the voice that people most frequently want to hear? What do they, what, you know, what do most people associate with you? What phrase do they want to hear Katie Lee say? Uh, usually, I have a lot of Totally Spies fans, actually. So I say, Clover, those shoes are totally awesome. Um, but they like, they like Rolf. Rolf. But I want to hear, hear him say him far out. out. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> Sunny Gummy. They like, they like, does my hair look all right? <laughs> Those are the, about the three <laughs> things Fun. that we like to hear. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about your adventures in the Star Wars universe. Because for a lot of folks, that's, that's a big deal to not only be in Boys Star Wars, me. but, but in Lego too. I mean, that's, that's the call that everybody wants to get. Yeah. I want to be somehow involved in Star Wars. So the Padawan Menace, this was back, uh, let's see, this was in, uh, 2011, uh, that, um, that, that came out and, uh, you got to be the voice, uh, which is not uncommon for you, obviously to, to be the voice of a young, uh, boy or young male character with, with yes, your, yes. like the Rolf example there. Uh, but how did this work out that you got to be the voice of young Han Solo in this Lego Star Wars thing? Right? Okay. <laughs> so, um, my agent sends me, she just sends me, a, you know, an email saying, you have a, you have a job. You have a job. You're going to be working on this thing called Padawan Menace. I don't even know if it said Lego Star Wars in the email. And you're going to be playing Ian. Like, okay. And usually, as you know, we audition for jobs. But this job I didn't audition for. So I get the script and I'm thinking, who, who, who would... Who is this? Who, who, somebody, somebody must know me to just. I was bracking, bracking my brain. My brain. And, um, and um, in the meantime, I read the, I read script, the script. Ian. Ian. Okay, okay yeah, yeah, Ian, 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 Ian. 
and I get to the end, and it turns out his real name is Han. He's wearing an ID, and the H is crooked. So it's Han Solo, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be Han Solo. I get to be the voice of Han Solo. This is crazy. That's so awesome. Who would hire me to do this? So I finally figured it out when I... Because uh, uh, I was like, who's the company? Who's the company? Who's the company? When we did Animalia, oddly enough, I did not do a boy voice for Animalia. I played the lead girl. I played a fox named Fuchsia with a French accent. I played a valley girl alligator and uh, a little elf, you know, elephant. But not uh, anyway, the the people down in Australia um, who did um, Happy Feet. Now watch, I can't think of the name of the company. It's just terrible. Um, but, um, David but David Scott, Scott is the director, director and, and um, um, our producer, and he just and he said, I think Kaylee can, can do this, and just, just sent me the script to do it. It was great. <laughs> so now, was did wonderful. you? Wonderful. I think everyone, I think everyone should, should see, see it, it actually. actually. I just I just rewatched it the other day. It's and funny, like, right? It, it is funny. It's really good. And now, uh, and it's not long, it's not long. so you can so do other things with your right once it's over. Yes, and. So uh, sometimes we see, you know, behind the scenes bonus features of, of videos and we get to see the voice actors working sometimes by themselves, sometimes together. So uh, this is kind of a mixture of uh, some original voices from the Star Wars universe, like Anthony Daniels mm-hmm. uh, doing C-3PO. But then you've got other guys who are kind of doing um, like Tom Kane doing Yoda's voice and doing a few other things like that. Who's known for doing that in the animation world. But uh, did you get to work with anybody side by side or is this all by your lonesome no, studio? No, it was there? all by myself. myself. I didn't I even didn't know, know that Rob, Rob Paulson, Paulson and I were on the same project until it came finished. You know, when I see, I see it and you hear the voices, the voices. Oh, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know that, that person was person working on there. No. no. Yeah. And I didn't, and I didn't ask. ask. <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe, I, maybe I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't know if they told, told me. You know, me, my, you know my, my memories. memories. Oh yeah. Very brief. <laughs> so uh, I was now, delightfully you, surprised. Now, are you enough of a, uh, a Star Wars fan girl that if if one of the actors had walked in, you would have freaked out a little bit, or would you been like, yeah, just another another person? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, no, oh, no, that's, not, that's true. not true. Because, because I, got I got to play, play Mark Hamill's Hamill wife, wife yeah, over yeah, at Nickelodeon, over Nickelodeon once, wife. and oh, uh, really? that was pretty darn pretty exciting. exciting. You know, he you know, he, he does, does vo- he's, he's you know mainstay you know, voice over actor right. here in L.A. Yeah, so, voice yeah, of Joker. Yeah, I was pretty excited <laughs> to meet Mark years ago, and then you know to work with him. That was awesome, and I think I would be pretty excited if I met Harrison Ford. Oh, I have met the guy. I think he passed, he passed away, away who played Chewbacca. Chewbacca. No, he's still alive. Hmm? He, he is? is? He's, yep, he's still alive. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Well, I met yeah, him I met at a convention, but I, of course, course you know, wouldn't recognize him because without being in costume, but... Um, um, you know, you know yeah, I, I mean, just I saw him, always... just saw him, was that this year? Last year, just saw him last year. Because you went to the convention. convention. Right, yes. Very nice Well, that's great. great. I'm yeah. glad to hear that. <laughs> uh, uh, and, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't, but I won't, I wouldn't go crazy. I would be, I would, I would be very excited and pleased yeah. to meet them, of yeah. course. Yeah, great. What's cool about this, uh, the release they had on, on DVD and Blu-ray for the uh, Padawan Menace, is that it comes with an exclusive little Lego figure, and it's Whoa! you. It's the Han Solo figure. I know, I have one. I have a little Lego. I have to be careful not to give it to anybody three and under. So they That's right. Swallow it. it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Well, that's awesome. We're going we're gonna to give one of these away. I'll tell everybody how to do oh, that. How uh, exciting. How generous, how generous of you. Of you. Oh, I wish I could, Since we're living so far apart, it, it can't be assigned. But they will have it. And if they go to see you somewhere, they could say, hey, I won this on the Unbox Boys. Will Absolutely. You sign this? Please so, request please me at your, at your local convention. convention. Okay. And then for like 100 bucks or whatever you charge for an autograph, you'll... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, if it's, if it's that, that one... one you put a little note on it. I will right. not charge. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's a special okay. one floating okay. around. No okay. charge. All right. I'll put an Unbox Boys uh, sticker on the there back. There you go. Okay. That's okay. What, okay. That's important. Yeah, that's important. Okay. I hope they don't unbox, unbox that sticker. That sticker. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess they wouldn't be able to watch. We'll figure it out. That'll be okay. all right. <laughs> 
Uh, tell them where to go if they want to find out more about you. What's the uh, What's the website? <laughs> Voiceofyourchildhood.com. Voiceofyourchildhood.com. Okay. Yeah, or if they put in Katie Lee with L E I G H, they'll find me too. Okay. Is that your Is that your, yeah, yeah. your jingle? And I'm coaching. <laughs> yeah. What? What? Was that your jingle for your last name? <laughs> Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Just popped out. Yeah. I hope you recorded I this. Oh, I did. Yes. <laughs> Maybe somebody can add some music and we'll be good to go. Um, and so you're coaching. Coaching voiceover. Coaching voiceover. Okay. Um, with the Global Voice Acting Academy, which is internet based. So anybody who we have lots of classes, all kinds of classes on there. So I'm doing um, scheduled to do one for kids and kids acting, and then starting a February. 21st, we have, an, we have ensemble an ensemble acting. acting. Just two Just weeks, two people, weeks learning people learning how to read how scripts, scripts together. together. Like you have okay. said, sometimes yeah, we're alone and sometimes we're, and sometimes we're together, together, but most times most people are alone, and I feel like people, like people need to learn how to work, work with, with each other. Each other. So that, sure. yeah, yeah. even when they are alone, they remember what it's like that they're talking to people. So we're doing an ensemble class then for voiceover for animation or at radio theater, like the project I worked on with you, Rex Tanner and the Sword of Damocles, where you are awesome. Awesome. Thanks. Awesome <laughs> sauce. And then a voiceover yeah, Atlanta is coming up in March, and I'll be co teaching with David Rosenthal the whole youth day. We're going to do voiceover with kids all day and voiceover awesome. Atlanta. You're a busy lady. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, yes. So I have to clean up from the party last night. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you uh, even more so then for taking time with us today. And uh, uh, go see. If you need some coaching, I would uh, highly recommend going to see uh, Katie at any one of those events that she uh, mentioned there. Uh, and check out her website and as well. And bring me your, bring me your, oh, sorry, I interrupted your plug for me. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Voiceofyourchildhood.com is all I was saying. Thank you. And whoever wins, bring me your little Han Solo and I'll get a little tiny Sharpie inside it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Thanks, all right, Katie. All right, all right, God bless. Bye. Isn't she great? Love Katie Lee. Uh, by the way, sorry for the technical glitch there that happened. I, I'm not. It wasn't happening while we were recording it, but it somehow ended up on the recording that her voice started echoing there for no apparent reason. Hope that wasn't too distracting, especially since that interview is going to be how you win this Blu-ray DVD combo of the Lego Star Wars Padawan Menace with the exclusive minifigure there of the young Han Solo. Pretty sweet. This one, this very one right here in my hands could be yours. Here's how you win, okay? In the description below on this video uh, here on YouTube, I've got three questions based on the interview with Katie Lee. So you have to kind of be watching the interview, or at least you have to maybe go back through it and scroll back through it. Send the correct answers to those three questions to me at theunboxboys at gmail.com, theunboxboys at gmail.com. And then from all those correct uh, entrants, we will select a random winner. And that winner will receive this very Blu-ray DVD combo pack and the minifigure. And like Katie said, uh, you can bring this one, which will put a uh, Unbox Boy sticker on. Uh, if you bring that to Katie, show her that. Uh, she'll sign it for free. Normally, the, these stars, they charge <laughs> for those things at some of these conventions, as you probably know. So, uh, so again, look in the uh, description below. Check out those questions if you can answer them. The email address, again, is theunboxboys at gmail.com. While you're down in that general area, please hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything. Click the notification bell as well. Uh, and uh, smash or slap that like button and share this. Now, I know you're thinking, if I share this, that means more people are going to have a chance to win and my odds decrease. Why are you going to be all selfish about it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I get it. I totally understand you want to have a good chance of winning this. But share it anyway, because your friends might like to win it too, right? Uh, so you can share it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you would like. Thanks again so much for watching. And until next time, God bless and good luck.